All right, we've got head coach Angel Elderkin. The Mountaineers wrapped up a regular season and got a top four seed in the Sun Belt Tournament for next week. They also tied a school record 15 three-pointers today. Coach will give us an opening statement, then we'll take questions. Really excited uh, to send our seniors out the way that we did. Um, today was a really special day just from the moment of getting to the arena to see the locker room decorated for them to share this morning and reflect about them. And then um, to put this kind of effort forth for them is just really special. Um, it's really special when you have a group that's connected um, and you can feel that connection. Um, but all around, you know, I thought we had some really good performances. We had some really good stretches, uh, but just proud of our group. I, I said this to the staff, you know, we lived in eighth place for a long time here. And our program mantra is pound the stone. And it's not easy. It's a really tough league. And so credit to our players for just continuing to pound the stone and get us um, a bye for the first time. First half, you guys made a whole bunch of turnovers and stuff like that. It's kind of a ragged game and, and such. Um, and then in the second half, you came out, and it seemed like that uh, – Something had happened, and the team had just totally relaxed, and it was a different ball game. Can you talk about what happened there? Yeah, I, I think we kind of settled into the game. You know, at halftime, I kind of told them, I think we spoke about turnovers, and we're playing a team like South Al, it's like a pack line team, so we really shouldn't be turning the ball over. And we said, you know, if we had six instead of 13, we're probably up double figures. We've missed some shots around the rim. I really didn't like the pace of the game. I didn't want to play a 50-point game with them. So just said, you know, we need to get some stops and we need to really run out and transition. And I thought that first little punch that we threw, that's really what it was. Um, so I was glad that our team was capable of doing it. Because games that are late in February, you just worry about legs. You worry about energy. Um, Thursday was a tough night for us. So you just I worried about their resiliency and their bounce back. Um, but they definitely shined through. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things that was kind of characteristic of today is you really had an, uh, a chance to see how all of the little parts of your team fit together. Uh, you used, of course, everybody. Uh, you know, everybody got to play. Uh, you had some good, uh, significant uh, things that happened uh, with, uh, uh, you know, a uh, person, you know, complimenting things here, there, that kind of stuff. It was really a, a game, I thought, where it looked like that, that it was just that complimentary kind of approach to your basketball team. Can you comment on that? Yeah, the last two games, um, I wasn't happy with our assists. We have been at seven and eight. And I was, you know, we talked um, as a group, you know, collectively and said, we got to get back to being us. And so we kind of define what is us. And I thought tonight to have 19 assists on 24 shot attempts was us, you know. And like you said, there was different people contributing, whether it was Brooke Bigot making the one dribble to the open, whether it was just Dane running the floor. I think you could kind of see the blend of the team that we have um, when we're playing that way. And so it was a conscious effort from them just to get back to ball movement, um, everybody touching it, shooting it, sharing it. Um, so it was a lot of fun. Along those lines, uh, Brianna Locke uh, starts her first game today, and she hit the three-pointer for your first three points of the game, and she hit the three-pointer for your last three <laughs> points of the game. You talk about that a little bit. Wow, what a storybook. Oh, I'm really glad that you brought that up so I can share it. You know, Brooke's journey, uh, I mean, excuse me, Bree's journey has been a tough one. She came to us as a, a prolific scorer. Um, she has struggled this season, but she's never quit, you know, and I kind of talked about that in my pregame pre that I want our players to leave knowing that they can do hard things. And I think this year has been very hard, but I wanted the opportunity to celebrate her today. And I thought um, when she hit that first three, I can't wait to go home and watch it on film. Like our bench just erupted. And that's the kind of joy you want to experience on senior day. And then her last one um, was equally as awesome. So I'm glad that she was able to kind of have that little storybook night tonight on senior night. Yeah. The smiles the court in the second half were incredible. Yeah. Um, hey, Coach. Um, hey. South Alabama shot just under 30% the, from the floor for the whole game. Talk a little bit about the team's defensive scheme tonight. Yeah, we were a little nervous coming in. We play, we've play. we been playing zone. We've kind of settled into um, our zone that we've been playing. They shoot the three. Um, however, their percentage wasn't – they don't shoot like 40% from the three. And so in the first 
quarter, second quarter, I think we were a little bit nervous. We were like, okay, um, we might have to go man. We might have to go man. Our whole game plan was to try to disrupt them, um, try to force turnovers, and try to take away the rhythm threes. I think they hit five in the first half. We, we didn't, they didn't have one in the third quarter. We held them to 10 points. And then in the fourth quarter, they maybe hit another one. Um, so I'm glad that, you know, uh, Coach Pierce kind of runs my defense, and he doesn't freak out. He's very, like, it's okay, you know what I mean? He had a really good temperament because I think in a game like today, you got the top four seed on the line. They start hitting threes. You can go away, and I'm just, you know, we stayed with true to who we are, um, and I think we just wore South Alabama out. Um, so, Alesh had a career high in points mm -hmm. and rebounds with um, 24 and 19, respectively. Talk, was there a point in the game where you – just thought to yourself, okay, she's taken over the game. We need to get her the ball. You know, honestly, in the first half, I was like, thank God she was making shots because we were really struggling, and, and she was hunting her shot. And so I def that definitely was like my self-talk. And then there was a part in the second half where I was like, she's a monster right now on the rebound. Like, they were going to be one and done every time um, because of how she was around the rim. So she had a tremendous, tremendous game. Super proud of her. Uh, you know, she jokes that she's a senior too. Uh, we're hoping to have her back. But she really, really um, has impacted our program in a positive way this season. Um, so with tonight's win, talk a little bit about the importance of um, having a top four seed going into the tournament. Sure, yeah. So if we didn't, you know, I could talk about if we didn't, we would give them off tomorrow, and then Monday we would have to come in, practice, and then travel or leave Tuesday and then turn around and play Wednesday. Today, Mariah Frazier played a very little amount because she's, you know, her and Emily Carver has been – nagging through injuries, Lexia. So it's really important now we can have today, take tomorrow off, take Monday off, give them the full 48 hours to get recovered, and then we can start our prep. And as a staff, and we kind of sold that to our kids too, is like right now we're a little, it's the dog days. We're a little banged up. This, you know, this buy is to our advantage to get ourselves healthy mentally, physically. Um, so that's really the biggest advantage for us. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Appreciate you guys. Thanks, Coach.